What long-term changes occur at the synapse with learning? Well, we've already talked about two of these, which is you can see an increase in the amount of neurotransmitter released, and you can see an increase in the number of postsynaptic receptor sites. Perhaps the most prominent change, however, is growth in pruning. What you're looking at here are the results from a study from a neuron that's been exposed to long-term potentiation or is in a state of long-term potentiation. And what you see is day one and day two and day three. And what you'll notice is on day one, the neuron is in its normal state. But in day two and day three, after long-term potentiation, you see growth. Those are areas where there is a plus. So the actual neuron is growing new connections in terms of dendrites, receptors coming from the axon, and connections coming from the axon terminal. And you also see pruning, which are the minuses. That's where connections are being trimmed. One way to think of this is new connections are being formed, which are essential for producing a skill, and connections that aren't needed for skill production or for the memory are being pruned and taken away.